सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर of the complex number 7 plus 24 i square root of the complex number 7 plus 24 i we have to find out in the introduction session while we were discussing the synapses briefly we explained the method to find out the complex of na complex number in general method we have discussed but that need not be done directly we can make use of the formula but in order to use that formula so let us do this problem step wise so what are the steps do you remind the first step let us find out its modulus say r the second step so in this one apply in apply the formula so before going to that better the 7 plus 24 i equate to a plus ib form where a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 24 so first let us write let 7 plus 24 i equals to a plus ib here a equals to 7 And b equals to twenty-four. Am I correct? Find r value. That is root of a square plus b square. Modulus of this one only. Root of seven square plus twenty-four square. Root of forty-nine plus five seventy-six. Square root of six twenty-five. That is twenty-five. Our value is twenty-five. Now, square root of a plus i b is given by the formula. Now, formula second step formula. So, formula is given by plus r minus root of r plus a by two plus square root of R minus a by two of i. So therefore, square root of seven plus twenty-four i is equal to. Now substitute the respective values. R stands for twenty-five. So plus r minus root of twenty-five plus stands for how much here seven. Divided by two plus symbol root of twenty five minus seven by two of i. What is twenty five plus seven? Thirty two. So thirty two by two is sixteen. That will be plus r minus square root of sixteen plus square root of twenty five minus seven is how much? The twenty-five minus seven is eighteen. Eighteen by two is nine. Root nine of i. So this equal to plus r minus square root of sixteen is four. Plus square root of nine is three. Three i. So therefore, square root of seven plus twenty-four i is nothing but plus r minus four plus three i. If you square it, you will get seven plus twenty-four i. Next seventh problem. Express one plus root three i or i root three in the modulus amplitude form.
the same question may be asked like this express 1 plus root 3 i in modulus amplitude form or polar form or trigonometric form same method has to be adopted that means r into cos theta plus i sin theta form we have to write. So, to put this one the Cartesian form into the trigonometric form polar form or mod modulus amplitude form means in the problem itself only we have the here clue. First we have to find out modulus, then we have to find out its amplitude, next we have to write in the formula r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So, first let us consider 1 plus root 3 i equals to a plus i b or in some test books it may be given x plus i y also no problem. Here a is equal to 1 and b is equal to root 3. Let us find out r value r is equal to modulus of z that is root of a square plus b square that is root of 1 plus root 3 square 3 root 4 so 2 r value is obtained. Just if you say this 1 plus root 3 i if you compare as a order pair that will be 1 comma root 3. So, this will be 1 comma root 3 this 1 comma root 3 lies in first quadrant, first quadrant, first quadrant amplitude is positive itself only, it lies in between 0 to 90. So, now let us come to the amplitude, theta is equal to tan inverse b by a or tan theta is equal to b by a, no problem. Substituting tan inverse b, b stands for root 3 by 1. This is tan inverse root 3. See, we know tan 60 degrees pi by 3 is equal to root 3. So, now that implies pi by 3 is equal to tan inverse root 3. So, tan inverse root 3 is a angle the equivalent to what pi by 3 which lies in between 0 to 90 only that belongs to first quadrant pi by 3 belongs to first quadrant. So, this can be written pi by 3. So, formula this a plus i b is r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So, that implies therefore, 1 plus root 3 i is equal to r stands for 2 into cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3. This is c mod modulus amplitude, modulus amplitude form or polar form or trigonometric form. Now, eighth problem. express 3 plus i in the modulus amplitude form. modulus amplitude form. Okay. Already we have discussed in the seventh problem. So, now directly I will switch over to the problem itself only. Let minus root 3 plus i is equal to a plus i b. Here a stands for minus root 3, b equals to 1. First, let us find out its 
modulus that is r r is equal to root of a square plus b square which equal to root of 3 plus 1 root 4 root 4 is 2. Now, let us come to the amplitude. Amplitude means this is nothing but minus root 3 comma 1 lies in second quadrant. Second quadrant means it should lie between 90 to 180. So, that means we have to write here theta is equal to pi minus tan inverse modulus of b by a. So, pi minus tan inverse what is the b value here 1 this is minus root 3 modulus of any negative number is positive only. So, we get to pi minus tan inverse 1 by root 3 see this tan inverse 1 by root 3 is nothing but 30 degrees. So, pi by 6. So, this is equal to now pi minus pi by 6 which equal to phi pi by 6. Check it. Now, formula this a plus i b can be written r into cos theta plus i sin theta. Therefore, minus root 3 plus i is equal to r value. What is the r value? 2. 2 times cos pi by 6 sorry cos phi pi by 6 plus i sin pi pi by 6 